European travel is often a lifelong pursuit for many tourists, not just something to check off a bucket list. It can take years to see all of the different countries and cities. The summer is the ideal season to continue traveling through Europe. While many of Europe's top tourist destinations experience all four seasons, summer's ideal weather makes it simple to get around, shed a few garments, and soak up the sun on historic terraces and soft, sandy beaches. So sit back, relax, and let's explore the best of Europe together. This Turkish metropolis, which technically lies across the Bosphorus Strait from Europe and Asia, is a must-see. It may not be as developed as some other European locations, but its age tells the tales of the several kings that ruled over it in the past. The Old City is a favorite destination for visitors, where numerous neighborhoods offer culinary and cultural influences ranging from Roman to Egyptian. Topkapi Palace and Hagia Sophia, a Byzantine masterpiece built as a church and then a mosque, are two of the best places to see in Istanbul. In addition to kebabs, Istanbul is known for its savory street cuisine, which often features overtones of yogurt, eggs, eggplant, potatoes, and peppers. Prague is one of those places that draws every kind of traveler, from backpackers and nomads to honeymooning couples and the over 50 population. It is inexpensive yet heavy on culture. Many parts of Prague are currently being built and improved despite having a long history associated with communism. While a new square has contemporary architecture, the distinctive old town is home to centuries-old structures. Think about renting a bike while you're in town or using the simple-to-use public transportation system to go around. Spend the day admiring the astronomical clock, Gothic churches, and, of course, cross the Charles Bridge while wishing for the future. Spend some time shopping in Prague if you're seeking for something special to bring home. The Netherlands takes pride in being environmentally friendly. The predominant means of transportation in the Netherlands is a bicycle, which is not surprising given the nation's flat and beautiful environment. Every Dutch individual is claimed to own two bicycles, and the nation has 32,000 kilometers of cycling routes. In particular during the summer, you'll see thousands of them on the streets of its city, Amsterdam. As you pass the city's spectacular homes, slow down. Their canal-hugging magnificence harkens back to the Golden Age. Take a boat ride across the canals to pass by the fascinating bridges and get a fresh perspective on the townhouses. Don't miss the expansive Ridges Museum, stunning Van Gogh Museum, or the sobering and frank house while you're on land. To serve as Tuscany's capital, this charming Italian fantasy appears to have been created from a watercolor painting. The unique works of art that are emerging will excite art enthusiasts. You may see treasures like Michelangelo's David sculpture by strolling down these ancient cobblestone streets, while the city's famed art galleries will show you amazing pieces like Da Vinci's Annunciation and Botticelli's The Birth of Venus, among others. One of the most romantic and attractive locations in all of Europe is the Ponte Vecchio Bridge. This famous bridge, which is arguably Florence's most well-known and frequently photographed landmark, is lined with bright stores with shuttered windows that sell touristic trinkets to the millions of tourists who cross it every year. Madrid can get quite warm during the summer, we won't lie. We're talking about being so hot that your back is still wet long after the sun has set. High 80s Fahrenheit, 30 plus Celsius temperatures shouldn't deter you from visiting Madrid, which is still among the top summer destinations in Europe. This Spanish treasure provides mouthwatering cuisine that will have you begging for seconds, exciting music that will have you dancing in the streets, 
and a wealth of museums and art galleries to explore. The finest summer months to travel are June and July, some store owners take the month of August off. Early in July, the Mad Cool Music Festival takes place, giving attendees the chance to jam out to some of their favorite artists in a sizable outdoor setting. London, the capital of both England and the United Kingdom, is one of the world's most significant centers and a well-balanced blend of tradition and modern amenities. There is so much to see in London that you'll need a few days, including Westminster Abbey, the London Eye, the Shard, Buckingham Palace, Borough Market, the Tower of London, and many more. On a particularly beautiful day, Londoners improving their tans swarm the city's green spaces. Take advantage of the pleasant weather by picking up lunch from a nearby restaurant and eating it in the park. Yes, prices for items like hotels, airlines, and tourist attractions will likely go up, but since you'll be able to avoid sweater weather while you go, the extra costs will be more than justified. In fact, with highs in the upper 70s, the weather between June and August is almost ideal. The pleasant summer weather in Paris allows for a wide range of fun activities, such as sunbathing on the beach, watching outdoor movies, dancing at an outdoor concert, or watching bikers arrive for the Tour de France. Explore the Cathedral Notre Dame de Paris or a handful of Paris' greatest museums to get out of the sun. Rome is a lovely destination to visit in Europe at any time of year, but the sweltering summer is among the best times to go. Rome is a special city with a harmonious fusion of ancient structures, popular destinations, and contemporary culture, not to mention mouthwatering cuisine. Make time to visit the Colosseum, the city's most well-known and recognized landmark, whenever you are there. Summertime lines can be lengthy, so bring water, a hat, and sunscreen to keep you cool as you wait to explore this fascinating location. After enjoying gelato near Piazza Navona, people watching by the Trevi Fountain, and a spaghetti lunch on an outdoor patio, visit the city's top museums and palaces to take in the history, and some air conditioning, that permeates the old walls. The historic city of Dubrovnik, sometimes known as the Pearl of the Adriatic, is a well-known tourist attraction in the Mediterranean. Dubrovnik was founded in the 7th century on the basis of marine trade and is situated at the southernmost point of Croatia, off the Adriatic Sea. Dubrovnik thrived as a center of literature, art, science, and education in the Middle Ages despite ongoing territorial challenges from Venice and the Ottoman Empire. Dubrovnik offers a wealth of sightseeing opportunities with its orange rooftop buildings standing out against the clear blue sky. The old town, the historic area, is brimming with historical monuments including the ancient defensive walls, cobblestone streets, majestic palaces, and stunning cathedrals. Onofrio's Fountain, a feat of engineering from the 15th century, is a must-see. The old town has a lovely atmosphere at night because it is illuminated. Prepare yourself for a workout when you land in this Portuguese capital because it is known as the City of Seven Hills and you can anticipate to go up and down, down and up, and repeat. You may easily rest your legs on hop-on, hop-off buses and trolleys, like in San Francisco. Sao Jorge's Castle, the Santa Justa Lift, and the Ponte 25 de Abril Bridge are just a few of the ancient structures that make this place worth admiring. The largest park in the city, Park Eduardo 7, has undoubtedly the best views of the Targos River, Avenida de Liberdade, and Praca Marques do Pombal. A 20-minute drive to the nearest beach is highly recommended, 
as is indulging in the nation's delectable dessert, pastel de nata. The charming Doka du Santo restaurant, which was renovated in 2018, serves delectable gastronomy that is almost as remarkable as its river vistas.